Hi and welcome to my guide. Today we're going to do the quest observatory. There are no quest requirements, skill requirements, 10 crafting and able to kill a combat 42. I just needed a bronze bar, molten glass, 3 planks, some food and a weapon to kill the combat 42. Anti-poison potions of at least 2 doses should be enough. Stamina and energy potions and also some weight reducing armor to speed up the quests is helpful. What is also is helpful is a teleportation method out of here when you've completed the quest. Where to start this quest? Right here in the building just north of the observatory which is located north of Castle Wars and south of the Red Salamanders. Here you should find the observatory professor. Talk to him. Select the first option, observatory quest. Second option, an observatory. Skip through the dialogue and he will say that his observatory has been uh, attacked by goblins or destroyed. Let's select the first option. Sounds interesting. How can I help? Since you already have the items, just talk to the professor again about the quest. After giving him the planks, just talk to him again about the quest. And you will give him the bronze bar. Next, talk to the professor once again to give him the molten glass. And now the professor needs a lens mold. Exit the building, then run southeast and go to the ruins just east of the building. Go to the southern building and you should find a red dot. Pick up the super anti-poison potion, it is a free one dose. Then go to the western ruin, there you should find a staircase. Climb down the stairs. Proceed regardless. Then run southeast, enter that passageway. Keep running south. Just go until the end and there you should find a chest. Open that chest, then search in it and you should find a kitchen key. If you do not have the kitchen key in this chest, there are five more chests around this dungeon. The second one is in a passageway just east of this one. You can just go there and there's another chest. The other four uh, go north, go back to the stairs, just keep going north. When you are at the stairs, go east, then go around the stairs, anti-clockwise, just keep going west, then go a bit southwest and you should find a gate sign on your minimap, go towards it and you should find a sleeping guard. Now if you still don't have your kitchen key from searching those two first chests, there are four more uh, if you continue running around this dungeon. Then when you have your kitchen key, try to open the kitchen gate, but then you will get a message that if you open the gate the guard will hear you, so that's why you will need to prod the sleeping guard and he will turn into a level 42 goblin guard. Attack it and kill it. Alright, when you've killed the level 42 Goblin Guard, use your kitchen key on the gate. And you've discarded the key. Open the kitchen gate, then go a bit south and expect the Goblin Stove. Click to continue, 
twice and you should find a lens mode. Then open the kitchen gate again and return to the staircase by running east. Climb up the stairs, then go south, and then go a bit northwest and return to the professor. Enter the observatory building and talk to the professor. Skip through a dialogue and he will hand over you the molten glass that you gave earlier. Use that molten glass on the lens mold and you will get a observatory lens. Now give this to the professor. And the professor is now at the observatory. You will need to meet him there. Now you need to return to the ruins. So head back outside and go back east, back to the stairs. Climb down the stairs, proceed regardless, then go back to the kitchen by running east and then follow this passageway. When you've returned to the kitchen, just keep following the passage. It will go a bit north, make a U-turn and go south. Be sure to drink some energy and stamina potions. Just keep following this dungeon until you see a crossroads. You can go north, but we will need to take the western one. Then follow the path south. Then the path will split again. Take the western one and continue running south. Keep following the path and you will see a staircase sign on your minimap. Go towards it and climb up the stairs. You will see a cutscene. After the cutscene is over, you'll see that the professor is upstairs, so climb up the staircase to talk to him again. Next, he will ask you to view through the telescope, so click on it. Now you'll need to try to remember the most recognizable stars or you can just make some dots on a piece of paper. When you think you know how your star cluster looks like, exit and go back downstairs. 
Downstairs you will find four star charts. Look at one of them. Then click on the names and try to find your own that you've looked through via the telescope. So just keep going through until you find them. When you think you found them, go back upstairs and talk to the professor. Right, now you have to select the name that you have found the correct match on the chart. So to me, it was Aries. When you have made it correctly, congratulations, you have completed observatory quest. You are awarded with two quest points, 2250 crafting experience, a payment depending on which constellation you have observed. I had Aries, so I had 875 attack experience. Caprion gives you 875 strength experience. Virgo 875 defense experience. Cancer gives you an amulet of defense. Taurus a super strength potion. Leo 875 hit point experience. Zagatarius gives you a maple longbow. Pisces gives you three cooked tunas. Gemini a black two hands sword. Scorpio a weapon poison. Aquarius 25 water runes. And Libra three law runes. This was my guide how to do observatory quest. Hopefully it helped and okay thanks bye.